I'm Kelly Roberts, I'm the Tidy Tutor, and this is Motivation Monday. Now this week for Motivation Monday, I am showing you my finished kitchen. Just in case you don't know, this is something that started about, I don't know, a couple of months ago actually in June, where I did a Motivation Monday about not procrastinating. Thinking of one thing that you really would like to do that you kept putting off in the house and just do it. The thing that I chose was to paint my kitchen door. And then I talk in there about why I think that men have a thing about not painting wood, but that wasn't really the subject. Really the subject of that video was thinking of something that you have always put off and then just do it. Now that led to other things for me to do in my kitchen and I did a few more videos about the kitchen that I was working on. Well now it's finished so I'm going to show you what I did, the reasons that I did what I did, and how I worked with what I've got, okay? So I'll see you in a couple seconds. Now what I did with my cabinet doors was, I removed them, but I didn't remove them on purpose to not put them back. I removed them and I stripped them, and here I'll show you. This is what they were, one time they were painted this color green, and here they are, all right? But I mean, I stripped them beautifully down to wood. And um, I, I did all of them but one, and I did them like a long time ago, like a few, few, few years ago actually. And I knew I wasn't going to finish them. That, that was just the fact, I wasn't going to finish them. So what I did was, I took off the little things that were underneath, that you know when you close the doors, those little things that like so that they don't open? I took those off so you didn't see them. I painted the backdrop of this like a, a deep burgundy color, right? And then I just used everything white in here, right? I, I already had white plates, but I had a mix mash of, you know, different bowls and glasses and stuff. So I just got rid of the glasses and I got these. I think they're really cute. They have these little, you know, circles on them. I have some nice teacups up here for when, you know, you just want to feel like a lady. And I have some nice white bowls, you know. I have some mugs that I like and, and everything isn't completely white. Like I have this mug in there. Um, I have these mugs in there. I like this. It's, it says excellence. It, it was, um, I think Joel Olstein sent me these. Um, now this is actually, it's a, um, a dear friend gave me this. It's um, Christine. Hi Christine. Um, this is like, you know, on a trivet or something. Something you put a hot pot on and I thought how cute would this look in here to give it some interest. Yeah, so now these have all been stripped. These have all been stripped. Um, you know, so when I painted this, I'm really happy with it. The um, the bottom ones, they have not been stripped. They are something that, you know, like I wanted to, I was thinking about just getting a new bottom. You know, it's a lot of money and it's not very necessary. They work, they're fine. So, but what I should have done was I should have stripped them and then painted them. But I didn't because it would have never gotten done. This is a really, really old kitchen and it never feels clean to me. And now it feels clean, you know, I, I just, I, everything is painted, the floor is really, really old, it's hardwood, it really needs to be refinished, but I'm not going to refinish it, but it is nice and clean. Now the reason that I chose the curtains that I chose is because the way the people that owned the house before me painted the outside of the windows, they're all those paned glass, you can see all the paint kind of that's in the paint, like you know, they didn't do a real clean job of painting, so you really see it. And I hated the way that looked, and so I chose these curtains so that you don't see it from the inside of the house. You know, it doesn't look horrible from the outside, and but it did from the inside, so that's why I chose those. If the windows looked really good and they were painted properly and all of that, then I really would have liked white sheer kitchen curtains. You know, I saw them when I was down the shore, I loved them. Um, but you know, well, this, these work. Now let me show you what I did on the other side in the cabinets where the food would be because the doors are open and so you can see in other videos that I've done, you know, you see the food in there, it looks like crap. So look at what I did. I went to, you know, one of those convenience stores like um, I, either there's Home Goods, there's Marshalls, there's Annie Says, there's, um, I don't know, there's more. And I think I got these in Marshalls. And they're just different baskets. I didn't want them to be exact, you know, the same. And so this way, it looks good. Now I have my olive oil out, that's cool. I have a few teas there. And this is what I have in here. In, in here, I take it down, these are my vitamins, okay? So there's that. Um, up here, I have my baggies, you know, things I need for bags. 
Um, this is stuff I need for baking, baking powder, um, chocolate chips, there's salt in there, um, agave syrup, um, and up in, the, in here, these are all my spices. This is where my spices are. And this up here, this is like, you know, workout stuff, you know what I mean? Like, you know, stuff you need for, you know, that protein drink kind of thing you take when you work out. That's what's in here. So it really, pardon my back. So it really, like, it works beautifully. I can have, the, I like the shabby chic look. I really like it. One of the things I'm not really thrilled with is the um, area where I had my computer. Now, when I first saw that, I was so excited because I was like, oh, great. I'll be able to um, be in the kitchen and, ha and do my work because, you know, a lot of my work is done at home and alone. And I was in the front room all by myself. So I was happy about this, but it isn't really working. It looks okay when everything is, is exactly in the right spot, but as soon as things get a little bit out of place, like a chair is out of the way or something, or there's more people in here, it, it really it makes it too cluttered. So I'm gonna have to figure out something else. I do like having my Mac in the kitchen, but all of that, it's a little too much. So that'll be probably my next video. Also, another thing too is when that wasn't there, I had the picture that was that's hanging over the stove now, over there, and I loved it there. It just worked so much better there. So we'll see what happens. It's just a little bit more of a tweak thing, but at least it's not, you know, the elbow grease and the really hard work that it was before. Okay, I'm Kathy Roberts. I'm the Tidy Tutor saying you don't have to have the best. You just have to do the best with what you have.